Hey YouTube, what's up? This is me, GamerKid1177, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solder LEDs onto your Xbox 360 CG or Matrix board. Now, uh, I'm not going to be explaining how to take apart your controller. I've already made videos on how to do that. Um, you know, uh, I'm just going to be telling you how to do it, what tools you need, and um, yeah. So anyway, the tools you're going to need is a 15 or 30 watt soldering iron, 0603 SMD LEDs, I'm using purple ones, tweezers, electric solder, matrix, or CG board. Now, I will post a, um, a link on how you can tell uh, which board you have, but uh, for this one, I'm going to be using a matrix board instead of a CG board. Save that for later for something else. So, what I do to get the LEDs off the board in the first place is to first tin my tip on the soldering iron. Make sure to get enough on the soldering iron tip. And what I do is I touch each side of the LED, I go back and forth back and forth and should just take it off. Oh, another helpful thing I have is sandpaper to clean your soldering iron tip so the solder gets stuck to it. So anyway, once you get the LED off, you want to make sure to scrape that pad until it's like um, smooth, you know? It's like flat. Make sure there's no bumps in it. Make sure they don't bridge any of the solder. So once you got that, put your soldering iron down grab your LED and I will post a link how to tell which end of your board, a CG or matrix board, is positive and negative and also what um, LED you have and is positive and negative. So right now, let's see, let's see. give me a second here, you get LED, I'm using purple LEDs for this one. Uh, I have a tri triangle looking one, so uh, one helpful thing to know with um, LEDs is the they're usually like a, like a T, or like a triangle. It's always the one that's pointing down that's negative. And a matrix board, the negative is pointing down. Let me just get that down there. You can get your sign iron. Make sure you line up your LED right. Sorry, you can't see this. Connect one end. And then another. And then you test to make sure you did the LED right. You grab a shell. <laughs> the back end of it. Grab the back end of the shell. Get a battery pack and some batteries. Then, grab just a rubber pad, one of the rubber pads, and then put your battery pack in, and test it out, make sure it works, see if I did it right. So it works, there you go, purple. Then, I'm just going to be doing the other LEDs really quick to show you. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. So another way you can um, tell uh, if you're putting an LED on right, so to know which side is positive or negative, you can get an LED, and uh, once you take the solder, or you take the other LED off, you just grab your tweezers and just hook it up there, and make sure you have the guide I gave you to let, to let you know which side is negative or positive for the LED and the board. Line it up, and it should light up. And if it doesn't, and you know it's negative, you don't have the negative, negative, and positive, positive. You might have to adjust a little bit and keep on trying. If that still doesn't work, then um, simply uh, just smooth out the pad with your soldering iron a little bit. Like I gotta do that right now. Make sure you take the battery pack out when you're soldering it so you don't have a chance of wrecking it. Just keep on just smooth out. Just you know, for maybe like two, maybe less than two seconds, you want to just scrape the pad. Make sure it's nice and smooth. That solder pad. So then, once you got that done, 
You want to grab your LED, find out which side's negative and positive, and then also on the board, on the motherboard, if it's CG or matrix, let you know which side's positive or negative. Okay, that's so negative. Sorry that bad cam angle that my hands in the rain. Apologize for that, but I'll show you in pit when I'm done. shaky right now. I haven't had anything to eat since like noon. So anyway, test it out. Put the battery pack in. Turn off this light. It works. So now that you know how to do it, um, just simply do the other two or the other LEDs and um, yeah, I'll just finish up the video of me finishing up this controller. And if you have any questions or comments, um, yeah, just, you know, ask me. So anyway, yeah, let's get this done. And then if you have some trouble with your soldering iron, like the solder is not sticking to the soldering tip, you want to make sure you sand that off. And get this LED off. LED is off. Get the LED out of the package. And these LEDs can be easily lost. I mean, I don't know if you can see it that's the LED on my shirt right now, or sweatshirt. <laughs> Just gotta be careful. They fly everywhere of the package. So anyway, grab that LED. Make sure you know which side's negative or positive. Side's negative. Make sure you don't get too much solder or solder on your soldering tip because you don't want too much on the board when you solder so it doesn't um, affect the pad and then affect your controller. So this is just done right there. I'm doing this upside down. So I'll stop the control there. <laughs> 